This next question is about creating a RAID array. You'll first need to attach the drives to the computer system, attaching the data and power connections. Once you've done that, start the system. And then you'll need to press on Control I or Control H. This will vary, of course, depending upon the controller that you are using, whether it's on board or whether it's a separate controller and you could have to press on something entirely different. Once you're into the controller you'll see the drives listed and you can see the non-RAID disks and this will change once you set up the array. So you'll need to create the RAID volume first. You can name the array you can also select the RAID level. Now this particular controller has a number of different RAID levels. RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, and RAID 5. Of course, this will vary depending upon the controller. So choose the one that you prefer. The fastest one is RAID 0, and I'm choosing that one, but it's the least secure. It's a perfect RAID level for gaming and also for video editing and that's what I do mostly. Next select the strip size and this will vary depending upon the RAID array. For example for a RAID 0 typically it should be 128 KB for RAID 10 or RAID 5 typically 64 KB. Then you can adjust the capacity and then create volume. Now all the data will be lost on the drives that you are basically configuring to this particular RAID array. So I'm going to say yes. And now you can see that these drives are a member of this RAID 0 array. Once the RAID array is created, you'll need to exit. And to do so, in my particular case, I'll press escape. But this could vary depending upon the controller that you are using.